Welcome to APSU. One of the overwhelming parts about being a new student is learning all the new technology systems. Today I'm going to provide you with an overview of campus technology and where you can go for support. First things first, we have good news for you. You will only need one username and password to log in to all the technology systems including campus computers. You may hear this referred to as single sign-on. You received your unique login information when you were admitted to the university. Do not share your login information with anyone. It creates a security concern for your student information. If you need assistance, please contact the APSU Information Technology Help Desk. I highly recommend you sign up for password recovery so that you can change and reset your password on your own. The link and directions for how to do this are available on the One Stop Login screen, which I'll talk about next. AP One Stop is the hub for connecting to the university. You can log in by selecting One Stop on the APSU website or by going there directly at onestop.apsu.edu. As you can see, there are many tools to explore. Today we are going to start by highlighting Web Self Service. Through Web Self Service, you are able to access all your student information, including grades, transcripts, registration, and financial aid. AP Email is available through OneStop. This is the official form of communication the university uses with students, faculty, and staff. Emails are frequently sent regarding important announcements and deadlines for registration, financial aid, and special events. Make sure that you check your email regularly. If you have a smartphone, you can set your phone to receive email. Step-by-step -step instructions are available on the APSU Information Technology website through their knowledge base. In addition to email, there are a variety of ways to connect with the university. APSU has a mobile app called P-Mobile. You can view your course schedule, a campus map, an event calendar, and a directory. News feeds are also included for campus life and athletics. You can even pay tuition and fees from the app. APSU is very active on social media. Many offices, such as Distance Education, have social media accounts that you can follow. Take some time to explore by searching APSU on your favorite sites. You can also text general questions to 931-292-4689. Finally, your security is very important to the university. We have two notification systems. The first is Rave Alert, which is a text communication system that informs the university community of security issues on campus and university closings. You must sign up at apsu.edu forward slash alert in order to receive the alerts. When students create their accounts, they can list up to three mobile numbers, so this would be a great way for parents to stay informed. The second is the LiveSafe app, which is available for download in the app stores. This app allows you to easily share tips and your location directly with APSU police, access important phone numbers, and request an in-person escort from APSU police. It is important to understand that every class at APSU could have an online component. APSU courses range from face-to-face -to, -face to fully online to hybrid. Hybrid courses are a combination of face-to-face -face and online courses where students participate in course activities through both methods. We currently use D2L Brightspace as our online learning management system where faculty regularly upload course materials online and interact with students. Your instructor may use D2L to distribute the course syllabus, class notes, grades, or post critical announcements. Additionally, you can take quizzes, submit assignments, participate in discussion boards, and access textbook resources. Just like your email, it is important to log into D2L regularly. There are two ways to log in. The first is through OneStop. The second is by logging in directly at the D2L website, elearn.apsu.edu. You will use the same login information you use for OneStop. 
Once you log into D2L, you can see your courses under Select a Course and the My Courses widget. However, you will not see any courses, even online courses, until the first day of classes. When you select a course, it takes you to the course homepage where you can see the news items and access the course calendar. From the homepage, you can select content to start exploring the course. Now let's talk about your computer hardware and software needs. We do not recommend the use of mobile devices like your smartphone or tablet for accessing your courses because they are not compatible with all aspects of D2L. Please make sure that you have access to a Windows 7, Mac OS 10.8 or newer computer for completing coursework. You should also have administrative privileges to your computer as some courses may require you to download content or software. This means you should not rely on shared computers like those in a public library or the computer labs on campus as they restrict downloading. Please note, some courses may require the use of a webcam, speakers, or a microphone. Regarding web browsers, please do not use Internet Explorer. We recommend the most up-to-date versions of Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari. In order to maintain your computer, you should make sure to regularly install computer updates, including updates for your web browser and common plugins. We also recommend protecting your computer with antivirus and spyware software. In order to complete assignments, you may need software for word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations like Microsoft Office. Do not pay for this. All APSU students are given five free licenses to Office 365. You may download this software onto your PC or Mac and use it while you're an APSU student. Visit office.com forward slash get office 365 to get started. You will just need to enter your APSU email address. As an effort to increase sustainability on campus, one initiative resulted in the implementation of Pharos to help students monitor and reduce their printing. You are allotted $30 each semester uploaded to your student ID. Printing costs between $0.08 cents and $0.10 cents for black and white and $0.25 cents per page for color. If you need to add additional funds, there are kiosks in the University Center and the Woodward Library. There is a Pharos app available in the App Store. For more information or assistance, please visit the APSU Information Technology Knowledge Base. As you are exploring what we had presented today, remember that there are people and online resources available to support you. APSU Information Technology Help Desk can assist you with account management issues, such as password resets for email, D2L, and OneStop, as well as provide support for university-issued software, computer labs, printing, and the wireless network. The IT Help Desk is located in the University Center lobby. They are available by phone and email. APSU Distance Education is available to help you navigate online technologies and learning including D2L, Turnitin, and online proctoring. Resources on the website at apsu.edu forward slash online include D2L tutorial videos, an introduction to online courses guide, and minimum system requirements for your computer. The Distance Education Support Desk is located in the McReynolds Building, room 216, and is available by phone and email. Many times we get calls from parents or guardians who are attempting to help their students access a technology account or help them through a technical issue. We cannot share information without a FERPA release form on file, and you will be asked to provide the four-digit FERPA PIN connected with your student's account. The FERPA release form is available on the Office of the Registrar's website. Please note, this is not specific to technology issues. It applies to all student information across the university. Let's review some takeaways from today's presentation. Protect your single sign-on information. One stop is the hub for connecting with the university. Check your email and D2L daily. 
Keep your computer and software updated. Get Office 365 for free. And there are online resources and people available to support you. APSU is starting a new initiative this summer. Once it goes live, you will receive an email directing you to a course in D2L where you will be able to view many of the materials presented at Rowe. And this will also give you an opportunity to explore D2L.